This is uh, Dennis Seatsma, Homestead, Florida, Dennis John Seatsma Productions. Today is a short. I'm going to be working on my 94 Astro van and I'm going to replace the intake manifold gaskets and uh, central moto port fuel injection upper plenum gasket that I got from Rock Auto. Hopefully these are the improved gaskets because this injury in General Motors 4.3 liter engine has a history of intake manifold failures of the lower intake manifold. Uh, this is a VIN W van and today is uh, December 1st, 2022, Homestead, Florida, USA. I'm still looking for a body shop to give me estimates on to repair this cancer around the windshield and pull the windshield and solve my leaks around the windshield. But <clears throat> Uh, so far the estimates are insane and uh, I'm not sure if they do the work the way I want it done anyway so I got to keep shopping but I've got a bad ignition switch I ordered a new one and it went to the wrong address so I'm going to forego the ignition switch for now but I have marked diffusable links A, B, C and D as you see there and I'm going to reconnect the battery and the fused links and then I'll I'll ferret out the problems with the ignition switch later. I'm going to add a, a relay to take the current demand off the uh, the ignition switch A terminal that always fails on this 94 Astro van that I've owned since new. The history of the vehicle is I've done a compression test. All six cylinders are equal around 150 psi. 200 10,000 miles on the engine since new. Uh, I've got a 210 or 200 amp alternator on it. I've replaced a bunch of sensors on it already but I have the engine seeking problem that I think is the intake manifold. I haven't done a leak down test on cylinders but compression check was good. I did a test for combu uh, combustion gases in the coolant and they're negative. So I doubt I have a problem with a cracked head or a blown head gasket. Um, and of course I'm going to check for coolant in the uh, engine oil and do an oil change probably if it, if it needs it. And I'm going to look for vacuum leaks and uh, we'll get to all that later. But uh, I only have a few days to work on this and uh, good weather. And I'm on the tropical fruit grove in the Redland area, Homestead, Florida, so I have some work to do on the farm. The boat is ready for the next sea trial, um, but I don't have a tow vehicle to get these problems sorted. I thought I had it sorted back in October uh, before the hurricane came through, and it destroyed my friend's house over in Fort Myers, and he's suffering. He's homeless right now, and uh, he's living in a someplace. But um, he has insurance, he just has to work, sort through rebuilding. And people that haven't been through a major hurricane have no idea. They got no idea how bad it can be, or a bad tornado. Uh, the, um, the hurricane affects an entire part of the state, or area, or island, wherever it hits. And as soon as it disappear, disappears from the daily news, people forget about it, but it's tough. And the best pe way to recover from that is hang on to whatever resources you have until skilled labor and materials are available. Because if you go in there quick and fast and say, I want to be back in my house it, by, so, you know, I want to be back in my house by Christmas. I want to be back in my house by New Year's Day. You're going to pay a lot more and uh, probably expose yourself to fraud. Bad fraud. After Hurricane Andrew, we had people given half the money for the repair and just never see the people again. They lost half of what they had to try to rebuild. So, but anyway, back to this project. Uh, I hope to make a little progress. Uh, get the battery hooked up, get it started. The ignition switch just uh, affects a few things in the vehicle. Uh, with that A terminal burnt out, I don't have any power windows and the rear air doesn't work. Uh, so, but as soon as I get it started where I can move it around to where my tools are, I'll start working on the intake manifold and later I'll deal with the electrical problems with adding that extra 
relay to take the uh, current demand off the ignition switch and I'll I'll still use the switch as a switched source and I'll get it um, current for the uh, fused current for the relay I'm gonna add somehow it's the same kind of relay that a stereo shop would add if you put a big stereo system in a vehicle that has high current demand um, you know instead of burdening the vehicles electrical system they put in those uh, 80 or 200 amp relays anyway give uh, my videos a thumb up like share subscribe whatever you like I hope you're enjoying my video thank you for watching